My name is Eileen Dolan. I'm the chair of the Committee of Clinical Pharmacology and Pharmacogenomics and the co-leader of the Pharmacogenomics and Experimental Therapeutics Group. I'm affiliated with the University of Chicago. The six most common cancers are treated with drugs that cause peripheral neuropathy. It can be irreversible. In addition, there are patients who have severe neuropathy uh, early on in their treatment and end up in a wheelchair. It's very debilitating or maybe pain for the rest of their life. The real problem is there's no effective treatment and they will dose reduce patients which could compromise care. I'm most interested in patients who are at risk for uh, severe adverse reactions um, and to identify those patients up front through their genetic makeup. We use cellular systems in order to functionally validate these uh, genes or genetic variants that come out of these large clinical studies. I had been looking for a better model than lymphoblastoid cell lines to study neuropathy. And I came across these iCell neurons, and I began to study these neurons and to functionally validate genes that we found in a clinical study in the iCell neurons by modulating them using siRNA and looking at whether or not um, the, the cells were more or less sensitive to, for example, paclitaxel, which is an agent that causes neuropathy. What we've done is we've taken I-cell neurons and we've uh, treated with different chemotherapeutic agents that cause peripheral neuropathy. We have a clinical trial now uh, that we just opened where we're collecting cells from individuals that have severe neuropathy and individuals that have a full dose of paclitaxel and have no neuropathy and then creating I-cell neurons from those individuals so that we'll really be able to say with a high level of confidence whether these phenotypes that we're measuring recapitulate what we see clinically in terms of the clinical manifestations of neuropathy. That's why the iCell neurons, and particularly if we create a panel of genetically diverse neurons, will allow us to begin to get at really important questions about how human genetic variants and human genes are important or contribute to neuropathy. And it really will allow us for the first time to begin to screen potential drugs to mitigate this side effect or prevent it. And so this will hopefully open up the door to look at new drugs. When we started working with these cells, we were very inexperienced in this particular area. And so we uh, sought out help from CDI. Uh, they came out to the lab, helped us to grow the cells. Uh, they also were able to optimize conditions for modulation of genes. So CDI has been extremely helpful in terms of helping this particular component of our project. We now may have derived cells of the appropriate tissue, such as liver, cardiac, neurons, and so forth, will allow us for the first time to make the genotype-phenotype connection in the appropriate model in a preclinical setting. So this is sort of a wonderful opportunity, not only for pharmacogenomics of anti-cancer agents, but for pharmacogenomics in general. So this is an opportunity in the whole field of pharmacogenomics to sort of begin to, to look at appropriate tissues of toxicity.